the fourth word of Jesus. Matthew chapter 27, 46. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabagatani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The same is found in Mark 15, verse 34. This, for me, is the true reflection of the incarnation. On Palm Sunday, I spoke about the kenosis, Jesus outpouring himself, becoming human for a second. I think from this cry onwards to the next word that I'll be speaking about on number five, you begin to see how truly human Jesus had become. Because the first thing we need to acknowledge here is that this scream is a representation of the sheer pain that Jesus was enduring. Hungry, battered, bleeding, everything every faculty of his human body broken. He, he being human, gets to a point where he feels he's alone in the world. He's no longer looking at those people at the foot of the cross that he has just been speaking to. Even in his heart, there seems to be an emptiness that God has departed. All along, he has had the confidence that God the Father is with him. But at this moment, he is hit by an episode that I think every human being gets to experience where you ask the question, where is God as I'm going through this kind of pain? So we can change this for ourselves. And the cry would be, my God, my God, where are you? If questions we have asked in this period that we're going through, unpredictable as it is, it is questions we've asked in our lives when we've been challenged by what happens to us. We ask when things happen and we are not able to speak to anybody. Maybe when we are not able to speak to our pastor, to our priest, to our friend. We are not even able to pray. We look around us and we just wonder. Is God really interested in me in this situation? Of course, we know that over the centuries, theologians have come up with all sorts of explanations, interpretations of this. That is this point. Jesus carried the sins of the world, the sins of humanity. That even God looked away from him. Because all the dirt of people were upon him. That Sounds plausible. But I want to say Jesus being God. Is a God who is vulnerable. A God who is in pain. Who is feeling. The sheer abandonment. That a normal human being would feel. And for me. As I said this is the ultimate representation of the incarnation. God is feeling how you would feel when you've been abandoned. So in that moment of feeling abandoned, I want to call that the Jesus moment. When you most feel vulnerable, when you most feel abandoned, it's the Jesus moment because Jesus has already experienced that for you and I in advance. It is a Jesus moment. It's not a moment in which you are all alone. 
but it's a moment you are in with Jesus. So even when you are crying, God, where are you in this situation as I go through these difficult times in my family, in my private life? Where are you, Jesus, as we feel abandoned as we go through this COVID-19 and we're not sure whether we'll have jobs or what tomorrow morning? It's a Jesus moment because Jesus is saying, this is exactly where I was for you more than 2,000 years ago. I knew you'd feel like it and I experienced it on your behalf. And so I assure you that I'm in this moment with you. This is a Jesus moment. That moment of feeling like God is not here with me. I want to call it a holy moment. Don't feel guilty that how can I doubt the presence of God in my life? No. It's a Jesus moment. You are in it with someone who has experienced it. And so the one who experienced it will carry you out of it. But you will have to experience it. But in experiencing it, let's not lose faith. It's a holy moment. We speak from experience of knowing that you just cannot pray. As others say, it looks like as I pray, my prayers just go this high. They are not going anywhere. I don't know what to say. Jesus could only say, but God, how could you leave me? Oh, pinkles. When it's all this gloomy when I'm losing loved ones, when I'm losing what I value the most, when I don't know what to do with myself, when I feel abandoned, when every, where are you? That's a Jesus moment. It's a holy moment for you. So I want you in that moment of feeling desperate to connect with the one who has been in that place for you. That one is Jesus the Christ, the anointed one of God.